It's your boy Leroy McCoy, and after five grueling hours of ATP spending and mental concentration and focusing on my uh, mental efforts, I have condensed all of cellular respiration into one page. So let's take a look at it. It all starts with one molecule of glucose. It's acted upon by glucose kinase, costing us one ATP, so we came out of our pockets just a little bit to turn that glucose into glucose 6-phosphate. Then that is acted upon by a Phosphohexoisomerase, because phosphate, phospho, hexo from the 6, turning into fructose 6-phosphate. That fructose 6-phosphate is then acted upon by fructo, phosphofructokinase, costing us one more dollar, so we're out in debt two dollars now, but it's all right, because then we have fructose 1,6-diphosphate. And what we're going to do with that is use aldolase to split it into two. We have a phosphoglyceraldehyde and a dihydroxyacetone phosphate. Now that dihydroxyacetone phosphate will be acted upon by a phosphotriose isomerase, turning it into two PGALs, or phosphoglyceraldehydes. Now the glyceraldehyde dehydrogenation is gonna yield us two NADHs. It's gonna turn that into a into two molecules of 1,3-diphosphoglyceric acid. That will be acted upon by phosphoglyceric kinase, making us two ATP, so we're already back in the game right now. Already came up just a little bit, but the game's not done yet. It's gonna give us two molecules of three phosphoglyceric acid. Phosphoglyceromutase is gonna turn into two molecules of two phosphoglyceric acid, which will then be cut by endolase whoosh, whoosh, into two phosphoenol pyruvic acids. Then pyruvic kinase will give us another two ATPs, turning it into two pyruvic acids. And that's glycolysis right there. Boom, we're gonna jump right into transitional phase. Pyruvic decarboxylase, which is gonna give us another two NADHs, is gonna turn those pyruvic acids into two acetyl groups, which will then bind with coenzyme A into acetyl coenzyme A, which is the shuttle bus. Take us right here to acetic acid, right to the Krebs cycle. Condensing enzyme is gonna turn into citric acid, Econotase is going to turn into icotinic acid. Then econotase again is going to take it to isocitric acid. I ran through that real quick because nothing really cool is happening here. But this is where it gets rocking. Isocitric dehydrogenase is going to give us two NADHs. And then that's going to turn into oxalosucinic acid. That oxalosucinic acid will be acted upon by oxalosucinic decarboxylase, giving us two carbon dioxide molecules, and then it's going to leave us with alpha-ketoglutaric acid, which will be acted upon by ketoglutaric decarboxylase, giving us two NADHs, two ATPs, and two CO2. So now we really stack on our chips over here. It's going to leave us with succinic acid, then succinic dehydrogenase is going to give us two FADHs, which is NADH's less popular cousin, but still good to have in the side pocket. So then we, that, we're gonna leave us with uh, fumaric acid. Fumase is gonna act upon that, turn it into malic acid. Then the malic dehydrogenase gives an additional two NADHs, which you're gonna leave with oxaloacetic acid, which then we could start the Krebs cycle over and over and over again. So here we go with the total over here. Two, well, negative two ATPs that we spent, one up here in the glucose kinase reaction and the phosphofructose kinase. Those are the two we came out. But then we gained six ATP, two in the phosphoglyceric kinase, two from the pyruvic kinase, two from the ketoglutaric decarboxylation, and, uh, oh, and that's six. Okay, now we have 30 ATPs, because each NADH is gonna give us three, and we have 10 that we have acquired, two from the PGALs, two from the pyruvic decarboxylation, two from the isocitric dehydrogenation, and two from the ketoglutaric decarboxylation. Is that everything? Oh no, and then another two from the malic dehydrogenation. And then we have four ATPs again from the two FADHs up in the succinic dehydrogenation, which is a net of 38 because 40 plus 30 plus 6 plus 4 is 40 minus 2, 38. And there you have it. Cellular respiration all in one. What are you doing over here?